Moving on, in the ever-competitive alcohol beverage market, companies have to continuously innovate and invest to stay ahead of the competition. For the world's largest spirits producer, Diageo, the situation is no different. KTN's Michael Karanja recently sat down with Diageo's CEO, Ivan Menzies, to pick his brain on what it takes to stay competitive and what opportunities the company sees in Kenya for growth. Growing everywhere in the world and it's trading up. People are drinking better. And the Diageo is very fortunate because we have a, a wonderful portfolio of brands uh, across uh, spirits and beer and wine. And we have a great geographic footprint uh, uh, of the emerging markets and the developed world. So as I look at uh, my ambition for the company is to make us one of the best performing consumer product companies in the world. This is an exciting time to be in our business. Consumers are changing fast, trends are spreading. Uh, companies that can be agile and quick to respond uh, have very good opportunities to grow volume and value. The role for innovation is great. And again, one of the Agio strengths is we are uh, very good at new products. Consumer trends are moving much faster and uh, uh, with our global presence and size and scale, uh, uh, what I really focus on is how do I keep this company agile, uh, be the first to read the consumer trends and uh, respond to market opportunities before our competition does. So uh, this is one of those few businesses where you can go from a uh, dollar a bottle to $300 a bottle and uh, uh, we segment the market, look at where the consumer opportunities are. So for example in Africa, yeah. where in many countries about half the market is unorganized alcohol, we see a tremendous opportunity with GDP growth and consumer disposable income growing that consumers will trade up into better brands. Uh, I always say uh, our success comes from con people drinking better. You can see it in our portfolio today. Some of our most interesting innovations have come out of this marketplace. I talked about Senator Keg. You look at Jebel. Uh, you look at what we're doing in uh, the beer market uh, with a brand like Balozzi. Uh, so uh, 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 there's plenty of opportunities to be uh, uh, and scale opportunities uh, for us to tap into. There's a lot of competitive interest in the beer space. Uh, however, I think uh, the, the companies that will win and sustain their leadership, and I'm proud of how we have held on uh, strongly to our market leadership position uh, in Kenya, uh, you can't do it by resting on your laurels. You can't do it by just relying on being the biggest. You have to be the best, you have to be the quickest, and you have to be hungry uh, to uh, win. The emerging middle class is, uh, uh, whether it's social media or travel or trends, they're moving, they're causing trends to move faster. And I think one of the strengths we have is because we operate across the world, uh, uh, I want us to be the company that picks those trends the quickest and moves them around the world the fastest. Our beer position, uh, particularly in Africa, is a huge strength of this company. So when I look at uh, uh, our growth in beer and spirits in Africa, the two go hand in hand. And so our, our ability to uh, take product to market, to understand consumer trends, uh, to work with local communities, uh, having the combined uh, beer and spirits positions give us a great advantage. So uh, uh, my goal to the team is I want to win in spirits and I want to win in beer. And one of the things I pride myself at the Arjo is we believe in doing business the right way all the time. And uh, uh, I want to ensure that every employee in the company really understands that and it enhances our reputation. Uh, 
I don't worry about competition. We can take them on. Uh, I don't worry about the ups and downs of emerging markets. We've seen that, and we will sustain our way through it.